Hi YouTube, it's Mike with HHO Connection. I just want to do a quick video to follow up on my last one about putting an EBM dry cell inside of a battery box uh, in case you wanted to put a cell inside your trunk or just consolidate everything together into one small area underneath your hood. Um, I was real happy with the results of the last one but I've made a couple modifications and changes to it that I want to share with you now so I hope you like it. So this is the new layout or configuration that I've got. Um, one of the things I did is I swapped out reservoirs. I had a cheap little $10 Napa reservoir that I really wasn't happy with and I bought a much sturdier uh, reservoir. This is by a company called Flambeau which I'm sure a lot of guys in, who are into HHO already know about but if you don't and you're looking for reservoirs by all means go to this company. Um, I think it's Flambeau.com if not just Google it and you'll find them. Anyway so I got this much better reservoir now. I've added a couple of bubblers that are actually stainless steel bubblers. I'll go into detail on that in just one second, but I, got I have two bubblers, scrubbers, with flash ports on them. Again, I can't stress enough, gotta have flash protection. So, and the other thing that I did was I took the bolts they were coming, that I've connected all my dry cell connectors to, and before I just had a couple wires draped over the back, um, which was temporary. Well, now I just took longer bolts, ran them all the way through, and I'll show you in a few minutes uh, when I cut to another angle. I just have the bolts coming out the side and, and it makes for nice little terminals that I can just clamp onto on the outside of the battery box. Now these bubblers that I have here, these are stainless steel bottles. Um, they're stainless steel drinking bottles. They're, they're by a company, New Wave Enviro, I've seen them called. If you look on the bottom of the bottle, it just says Enviro Products. I bought these at Whole Foods Market. They're about $10 a piece. Um, We'll see how they work. I've, this is the first time I've tested them. I, I really wanted to go with the stainless steel bottle idea. The reason I singled these particular bottles out, um, this, this bottle is an exact match. This is one, uh, a promo bottle that my wife got and somebody gave her, and it's an aluminum bottle, so I really wouldn't, I wasn't going to use that, but it had the same type top, and that's what I was looking for, these threaded tops. And I believe it's a one inch uh, wide thread on there, whatever. It's, it's a common thread that, that, that matches well with all the PVC connectors. So I can just make this cheap little flash port and it screws right into the top of there with no problem. One thing that I, do, that I will say though, I had to take the top that came with the bottles. It came with this little plastic loop top with a clip. There was a small silicone gasket that went around, uh, O-ring that went around the top of that. I had to take it off of there and it's underneath each of the flash ports that I have on both these bottles. So it's a pretty cool little rig. I've got, like I say, two stainless steel bubblers there now. Um, I will say that drilling the holes to put these brass connectors inside them was a real pain. Um, I did it just with a hand drill. I'm sure all you guys who've drilled stainless steel out, th out there know it's a challenge. So if you're going to do it, just be careful. You should probably do it with a drill press. Unfortunately, I didn't have that luxury. Um, another thing that I did in here, I'm, I'm just doing this as an experiment. I bought some of this stuff, went to the pet store, and it's basically for an aquarium. It's porous rocks. It says it's a, a biofilter, basically. You, know, you let the air pass through there. I'm trying this out, you know, as a test, as, as a scrubber to try to take out the, um, the um, sodium hydroxide vapors out of, out of the water. It seems to be doing a pretty good job. I've got it going uh, out of the secondary scrubber and into a little stone over here to the side. And, and I'm not seeing any vapor at all coming out. But eh, we'll see if that works. That's all a test right now. Anyway, back to the battery box. Um, the other thing that I'll mention about the stainless steel bottles is trying to seal those connectors. When I put this, the brass connectors in there, it didn't make a good seal, even with Teflon tape. And I tried this stuff called Mr. Stickies. If you haven't seen it, it's some pretty cool stuff. I bought it originally to put the connectors on the reservoirs because this is the only, the only glue that I found out that is supposed to stick to these polyethylene tanks. Um, I don't know, it's a two-part epoxy, you have to mix it up, or two-part glue, you mix it up for about 90 seconds. And I didn't do the cleanest job of sealing these guys on there, but it seems to be holding really, really well. I'm really happy with it. So anyway, that's pretty much the, um, the, the new modified battery box point version 2.0, I guess, if you will. Um, sturdier reservoir, stainless steel bubblers with flash ports. Um, electrical connectors going straight out to the back of the box again which I'll show you with some other shots in a second uh, with my terminal connectors on the back. I'm really happy with the setup. Uh, the only thing different on here than from the first video 
is this line coming from the cell to the reservoir. Uh, I had the other one going straight through, which helped eliminate the foam, but I was having heat issues. It seemed uh, like it wasn't flowing as well. I don't know. I've had this one on for hours and hours, several days, and absolutely no heating issues whatsoever. It just never gets that warm. So anyway, that's it. Hope you liked it. And once again, don't forget, I got EBN dry cells. New shipment coming in. Should be here on Tuesday. So if you need them, I got them. HHOConnection.com. Take care.